And out of the rollout of legal marijuana sales in New York, the state says it wants to give people who have prior pot convictions first dibs at getting the dispensary licenses. But that idea seems to have actually run into some roadblocks. Arthur Chien joins us now to explain exactly why. Arthur. Well, Teresa, Steve, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers are expected to apply for a license to legally sell recreational cannabis in New York State when, in sp when it becomes available this year. But the excitement tonight is dampened as details emerge at the state while trying to get the those who have previous convictions involved here is asking something from their history which may be very hard to find. With New York State on the verge of issuing hundreds of licenses for the sale of recreational cannabis, there's a massive social justice component which will give the first of the licenses to New Yorkers with marijuana convictions from the era of criminalization. But now, the state is also requiring those applicants show they've owned a successful, profitable, legal business for at least two years, a requirement experts say will significantly cut down the number of people who qualify. To say, and you have to have had a business, and you had to have been profitable, and you got to be subject to an audit, that's going to be tough because those people that chose to stay with the, um, you know, the ongoing uh, underground cannabis market are not going to fit into any of those criteria. People like Ernesto Castillo, who says he's served five years in prison for marijuana-related convictions. Now the CEO of El Pure in New York, whose website lists a number of cannabis products ranging from $30 to $40. He now worries he won't qualify for a license, even though he says he is precisely who the social justice part of the regulations was designed to help. Individuals like myself, you know, we pay with, with, with jail time lawyer fees, you know, you know it, the, the system was designed in a certain way where, where we had to move a certain way, you know. Um, it's about how do we go, how do we, sh how do we show that? The New York State Office of Cannabis Management tells Fox 5 what's on the table right now is an initial proposal and that the agency is looking forward to the 60-day public hearing process that begins this week. Now, very often when a government agency holds a public hearing process, there are people who believe it's a mere formality, that a decision was already made. It's to let the public vent. Insiders in this case tell Fox 5 that the Office of Cannabis Management actually has made changes when they've gotten feedback from the public. So they're very excited also about this public hearing process.